talk real quick about tension pneumothorax and how it occurs. Okay, my diagram here is not the best. Let's say we have an injury here to the chest. So, and that bullet goes in there, it punctures. Think of this as a closed space, okay? In between here, the long, think of your lungs are like a balloon in a balloon, okay? That's the chest wall, the cavity, plural space. Anyway, when that air comes in, when they breathe in, air comes in this hole. When they exhale, it doesn't uh, escape. So what happens is, this space in between the lung and the plural wall, it, uh, the air collects in here and it keeps building up and building up and building up. If this is not sealed real quick, it collapses that lung. Well, that air will still keep coming in here. Then it will push over onto the heart. And that lung, collapse that lung, and the person dies. So what do we do to fix that? All right. First thing we need to identify, right? So you guys know it. I'm a halo stickler. Nice thing, halo makes a big one. So if somebody got peppered with shrapnel or there were multiple injuries, you could slap this big one on there and it'll cover two or three. Uh, some people, rec uh, TCCC recommends a three-sided occlusive. Just whatever works. I know tape fails. People are sticky and bloody. Tape will fail. Halo stick, hyphen stick. Uh, there's other products out on the market, but make sure they're well tested before you use them. I know the Halo, when I was in the unit, we they uh, passed rigorous... Uh, test and the halo stuck along with the hyphen, but the hyphen failed after a while. So there it is. If you got any questions, drop me a line and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Talk out.